Pokemon. It's a series beloved by pretty much everybody, myself included, and for good reason. Pokemon essentially created and popularized the capture and battle genre that has been copied by everything from Yokai Watch to Dragon Quest to Final Fantasy. But enough about the good Pokemon games. We're here to talk about the bad ones. But aside, I hear you saying on the other side of your computer screen, there are no bad Pokemon games. How could you, a person who's created all these Pokemon videos, which you can find in the top right hand corner of the screen, conveniently annotated for us to watch later, say anything bad about Pokemon after you said all this good stuff about how you love Pokemon? And to that I say, how the hell did you get in my house? Besides, we're not talking about Pokemon proper. We're talking about the unlicensed Pokemon games. That's right. We're talking Pokemon bootlegs. Let's start off with a game that's been requested. Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal. I know, man. The game begins unassumingly enough, especially if you're familiar with Crystal. Everything from the intro video to the music and graphics is great. The gameplay is still fundamentally Pokemon, but this translation is rancid. I think I know what they were going for here in Vietnamese, but when translated back to English... <sighs> it's awful. Yeah! No need to yell, dude! It's all good! This is actually one of the first major differences you'll notice in the game, outside of the actual translation. There's no lowercase alphabet at all, which means everyone is just screaming everything at you all the time. After the poorly translated opening, it's time to pick a name for ourselves, and... Hey! Those aren't Vietnamese names! None of those are Vietnamese names at all! Those names look more Chinese than Vietnamese, although without the original Vietnamese translation, I won't be able to tell you for sure. But I'm like, definitely 60% sure that those are Chinese names, not Vietnamese names. So I got the Poke Gear from my mom, and now she's asking if I know how to use the phone. Yes, I do. I've played Pokemon Crystal before. Let's just get on with it. Insert the pin of Zuichi. Select the holy figure, okay? What? What are you talking about? Dude, I speak Vietnamese and I have no idea what you're trying to say to me! Professor Elm, or as he's known in this game, who's CG Doctor, says it's time to get ourselves an elf. This is an important decision and will drastically affect the rest of our time playing this game. Everyone remembers Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Chikorita, but the translation actually changes it up a little bit. So who will join us on our perilous journey to Elf Grandfather's home? Will it be Little Crocodile? How about Kige Leader? And who could forget the fan favorite elf monster known as Fired Elf into a Big Wind of Fire? Eh, still better than Diglett and Dugtrio. I went ahead with Fired Elf into a Big Wind of Fire because that's a cool ass name. And Musiji Doctor's Helper is feeling kind enough to give me something to help me on my trip. Oh my god, what? I know this is a potion, but what kind of translation is this? The word it was translated from most likely meant medicine. Why didn't they just use meds? It's the same number of letters and everything. It's even more grammatically correct considering the context. What? We're playing a game, a Pokemon game that has the word fuck in it? Now I've truly seen it all. And no, this isn't just a one-time occurrence. It happens every time you get an item. Pokemon battles are generally conducted the same way, but good luck figuring out what moves do what unless you're extremely well versed in Pokemon Crystal or you have a strategy guide handy. Ooh, and ood! Go away. Okay, that's kind of funny, but the only reason it's mistranslated at all is because the word they used in Vietnamese was probably D, which means to go somewhere. The reason it can be translated as go away is because it can also be used like when you're shooing someone away, like D, D, go away. But it can also be used like D, let's go. Or it can be used as just the command, like D, just the word go. So even though the translation isn't completely blameless in this instance, it's more of a failure of the English language than it is of the translation. Can we get to what is really my biggest problem of Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal? The translation does not make any sense. And I don't just mean the English translation. I mean the initial Vietnamese translation makes no sense. Vietnamese Crystal seems to follow the translation of the Indigo Plateau and Advanced Generation series translations done by Phuong Nam Film. Phuong Nam Film's translation was, in and of itself, translated from the Chinese translation. 
That would explain the Chinese culturalisms found in Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal. Everything from the player's name suggestions being Chinese, the Pokemon names which are near literal translations of the Chinese name's meanings, and even little things like how your mom greets you on the phone. Wei is the colloquial Mandarin way of answering the phone. In Vietnamese, we simply say, Hello? Which is exactly what it sounds like. It sounds like hello, and it means hello. But it's not a perfect explanation. Some names and translations seem to come from the original Japanese names for things. For instance, the aforementioned Centret name, Ood, probably comes from Centret's Japanese name, Otachi, being combined with the Vietnamese word Nung, which means stand, or the word Nui, which means tail. And there's still other stuff that makes no sense. Why are Rattata called Camel, and Camel is misspelled? Why is Tackle called Prize? Why are Pidgey called Lap? Why are Caterpie named Petal? Why are Berries, regular Berries, called Sunstones, which already exist in the game, and again, Sunstone is misspelled? Why is the Pokemon called the Friend Store, when a word for store obviously already exists in Vietnamese? Why is Leer called S-Pin in the game, but the Vietnamese translation of the move Leer does not have the letter S in it anywhere to begin with? Why is Smokescreen translated as Renew, a completely unrelated word in English when the attack itself is literally translated translated as smoke screen or smoke curtain in Vietnamese. The only person who seems to be translated somewhat decently is your rival, and even he has faults. I am a monster. Ah, oh, come on man, all you did was break into a government funded institution, steal a defenseless little elf Pokemon, and then force that elf Pokemon into slave labor and dogfighting against his will, usually to the detriment of your finances and its well-being. You're not just a monster, you're a total prick too, don't let yourself off the hook that easily. What is this? It too bad. You took the words right out of my mouth. Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal pretty much continues like this unto its entirety. The translation is the only really bad part. Mechanically, it's perfectly fine because it's literally Pokemon Crystal with a bad translation. But if you're anything like me, then after about an hour or so, and that's really pushing it, you're going to get really sick of the bad translation, it's not going to be funny or surprising anymore, and you're really going to wish you were just playing Pokemon proper. Among all the bootlegs, I call Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal tiring or uninspired. I wonder how the other bootlegs are.